The fire chief called just looking for his 37 Ford. Now that is a slick looking hot rod. Check out the stance. It's hot looking. You go to volocars.com to check out a couple hundred classic cars all for sale with pictures, descriptions, and prices. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a 1937 Ford five-window coupe. It's a real 37. It's all steel, except the two rear fenders are fiberglass. But the rest of it, real deal steel. And I'm telling you, the fit and finish is amazing on this car. Uh, we'll start right up front here. Nice, smooth, clean hood. The fender, I love how the headlights are in the uh, fender. I love the crease on top. And I'm telling you, I'm looking at absolutely pristine fit and finish. This is absolutely like red glass. All of this is amazing. I don't see any shrinkage or body work. Uh, it has a third brake light, nicely sculpted into the body. There's a flush mount power antenna. Uh, you wouldn't know the fenders are fiberglass. I had to put a magnet on it to verify if they're absolutely straight and fit fine. All this gap, pristine, there's no cracking or chipping. Flush mount gas cap, that's custom made. All of this is absolutely, I keep saying pristine because it really is. I'm not finding anything to apologize for. <clears throat> Here's a little <coughs> like surface scrape, just in like the clear coat. Dakota Digital remote system, uh, works all the doors and it works the power windows. It all works well. The power trunks open, both doors, both windows uh, work without a hitch. Yeah, all pristine. I mean, amazing fit and finish. If you're really, really fussy, this car will meet your expectations. I don't even see stone chips up here. Not to say there isn't one, but I can't find one. This is red glass. It's torch red, uh, clear coat, uh, base coat finish. Has the original style uh, lenses up here. Turn signals are built in. All new polished stainless trim. Uh, some nice custom mirrors. All new smoked glass. Uh, v butted windshield. All new red gas or all new gaskets and seals. Let's see which button is this door. See that? Power windows work. Tinted glass in back, LED bullet style tail lights. The bumpers are actually stainless steel, not chrome. They're polished stainless steel. And again, pristine, outstanding. Love this stance. 14 inch polished torque thrust in front, 15s in back with a fatter tire. Uh, it's got the rubber covered running boards, so you don't have to worry about scratching it. You can actually step on them. So there's the outside. Why don't we get inside and check it out? So the handles have been shaved smooth off the trunk and the doors. It is a power lift trunk. You let go of the button, you hit it again, and then it will go down. So it is completely boxed and upholstered even under the trunk lid, and it has design. There's a nice aluminum hinge, the rubber gasket. Looks real nice, has a real nice car cover. Gosh, it smells new in here, it's not musty. Uh, here's some miscellaneous extras and documentation. Here's a photo album, looks like of the restoration. Oh, I love seeing that. There's a custom frame, which we'll talk more about. We'll post some of these pictures on the website. That's all good stuff. And then there's a compartment here, probably gonna find Wow, it's even carpeted back there. Normally you open that up and it's ugly, but there's the stereo system. So a really nice trunk compartment. It was interior is done by Casper, a professional uh, hot rod interior guy. We have a buy it now button on our website. If you see something you really like, I suggest hit the button before someone else beats you to your dream car. Jams are slick as can be. New latches, I, they look like bear claw latches. The weather strip's real nice. Beautifully done. Tweed interior, look at the pattern. I like the little bit of red striping. I like the red trim around the window frame. 
nice clean dash, nice and smooth, beautiful set of gauges with a little bit of red uh, trim. 2,358 miles since the car's been done. It has a, a LED shift indicator. See, it's in reverse. That's really nice to have. Nice billet knobs. The AC vents are cleanly installed. Under the dash is all completely boxed and upholstered. Kick panels have speakers in them. And everything's nice and tight. Nothing's falling apart. You have beautiful carpet with mats. Custom made console. Power windows, cup holders, vintage air controls. Has a Cobra uh, CB, a stereo system. The bucket seats are real nice and comfortable. They do recline. There's an e-brake in between. You got seat belts uh, behind the seat. I don't think anyone's ever going to sit there, but but there's a couple little seats, little cushions, I should say. I think probably more just to throw your bags. There's a CD changer, some more speakers. And I love all the 3D design. Here's six by nine speakers, I bet, behind there. And it's completely upholstered. Even the headliner all has nice design. It's not stained. It's not dirty. Um, you know, visors. And I love the steering wheel. Leather grip banjo steering wheel with the V8 logo. Uh, it's on a tilt column. Really, really nice interior, just like the exterior. Done with class, quality. There's also a switch inside there to open the trunk. So the engine is a 350 a crate engine, so you get reliability and performance. It's a 330 horsepower. Uh, up on top. Is the GM Bowtie aluminum intake with a Holly carb electric choke? The air cleaner is from Bitchin Products. Uh, you can see a nice smooth firewall HEI ignition. Got some Bowtie uh, plug wire holders to match the valve covers and the breather cap. Got a set of headers down there. The AC compressor is highly polished. Aluminum pulleys. It has a heavy-duty one-wire polished alternator. Looks like it's uh, got a shroud and a fan right off the engine. That's a show-quality motor compartment. So we're taking the hot rod out. This is the 37 Ford Coupe. Take her on the block, show you how she drives. Been excited to film this one. Uh, when it first came in, I was very impressed with the fit and finish of the build, the quality itself. Everything's very nicely put together in this thing. Uh, it's not just a kit slapped together. There's no rattles, no creaks. I mean, we're going over the bumps. It's smooth. The steering's great on it. I got the uh, heat on right now. It's a little chilly out, so heat's ripping, nice and warm. The power antenna went up. The power brakes work phenomenally. Uh, I believe this is a tilt column. For size reference, guys, I'm 5'11", and right now I have plenty of space in here. Uh, I got plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom, even with the steering wheel all the way down like this. It doesn't even hit my knees, so. I do have it tilted up just in case though, but turn signal lights up on the dash. Let's see what she's got. Cancels. Gets up and goes. Couldn't even feel it shift. We're doing 60 miles an hour right now. I feel like I'm in my 2017 Jeep. Uh, it drives just as good as that one. Cruising over the bumps. We got very comfortable. You could drive this for hours and be fine. Very, very nice car. Power windows work. No 
slows down effortlessly. Let's check out the radio. The CB does turn on. We'll try the radio though. So the radio works. You guys got yourself a turnkey hot rod. Get in and drive. I hope you enjoyed your test drive. If it drives anything like it looks, it should have been amazing. The more I'm looking at this car, just the more and more impressed I am with it. Uh, there's just a whole list of information, all Ron Francis, wiring harness. Uh, underneath, the door is both shut like new. Underneath is a TCI box frame. It's been uh, painted and clear coated. Up front is a Mustang II independent suspension uh, with tubular control arms, coil over shocks, uh, rack and pinion steering, does have disc brakes in the front, their drum in the back, leaf springs in the back. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still real nice and clean. It's a turbo 350 automatic transmission, Ford nine inch rear end with 373 gears. Uh, all the plumbing is all stainless steel, um, a finned aluminum uh, transmission cooler, custom drive shaft, 20 gallon Rock Valley uh, fuel tank in the back. Uh, I think it's got some nice stainless steel exhaust too under there, some nice polished stainless. So this car, this is, this is pristine. This is an amazing car and I love the classic look. There's no funny looking scoop or stripes. It's just your classic bright red hot rod with the right stance, the right wheels. And this thing could go in your living room. It's that nice. You can go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your house and how to get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones posted. Thanks for watching.